Now, the flu season puts a massive strain on our health system. Last year, there were an extra 4,000 paramedic call-outs in July. 4,000. Here with some advice on staying well and avoiding those 111 calls. Norma Lane from St. John Ambulance. Good morning to you. Good morning. Lovely to have you here. Thank you. That's a huge amount of extra calls. I mean, why the massive spike in ambulance call-outs? Are, are they real emergencies? Some of them are, but many of them actually are things that you can deal with yourself if you take good care. Um, some people panic and uh, they, they go and they'll dial 111 when in fact actually they can deal with it themselves. They can either go to a pharmacist and mm. seek advice or a GP. So it's actually about being prepared. So we know it's winter. We know that people will get colds and flus and tummy upsets. So actually the most important thing, it's a bit like stocking up your larder to actually make sure that you've got good medicines in your cupboard, especially mums, you know, mm. paracetamols, kelp holes, the things actually that you can treat people and your family before it gets really bad. So mm. prevention. Yeah. Okay, let's, yeah, let's talk a little bit more about that prevention. What can we do to avoid the flu? Okay, well, one of the first things that people can do is actually take up the offer of having a flu jab. So we benefit from the fact that our scientists, our pharmacists, our public health consultants know the viruses that actually, um, you know, caused all the problems in the Northern mm -hmm. Hemisphere. So this year's vaccine is, is really good. So I would strongly encourage people to actually um, take, you know, take up the offer of the flu vaccine, particularly if you are vulnerable, if you've got a long-term condition, respiratory, heart conditions, mm. lung conditions, to actually get that flu jab on board, that will stand you in great stead. Okay, now if we do get sick, what's your advice? Okay, so if you do get sick, then um, depending if it's really severe and you've got difficulty breathing, then yes, of course, we want people to, to dial 111. But actually, it's, you need to go through stages, you know, um, normal cold medicines, and also uh, go to the pharmacist, I say, to, to see whether there are medicines you can take. But also there's Healthline. If you're not sure about the symptoms that you've got that you need to seek help, then Healthline is there to be able to direct and advise. And also, if people do call 111. We have nurses and paramedics that can also help to assess so that if an ambulance isn't necessary, then we will help redirect people to get the most appropriate care. Because actually what we want to do is preserve our very, very precious ambulance resource and our paramedics. We want to be there for when people really, really need our help in an emergency. Mm. Yes, and I think anyone who's had to use St John for anything will know that it is vital and uh, it's, it's such an incredible service. Mm. So when should we seek medical help then? So if symptoms are prolonged and it's a really high temperature, difficulty breathing, um, chest pain, those sorts of symptoms, or if you're, you're, you've got a, a child, children will go downhill very, very quickly, as with elderly people as well. So again, you know, if, if it's people know um, when they care for family members, what's normal for them and when they start to get really, really unwell. And as I say, we will assess as well. Mm. Um, but if in doubt, call. Cool. So if we are worried about a sick family member, what should we do then? So if it's a high temperature or, you know, a severe symptom like difficulty breathing, then yes, 111. If you're not sure, Healthline, GP, you know, community pharmacist, th those are the lines to seek advice. Okay, so there's the Healthline, the pharmacist, mm. you can go to your doctor. G there are other yeah, ways, absolutely. ways and means before absolutely. you have to call the actual absolutely. ambulance. Yeah. And Norma, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, that has been enlightening. It's a pleasure to have you in. Always good to have St John in. <laughs> uh, now, don't forget, St John is a charity and does amazing work in the community. Donate or volunteer at stjohn.org.nz.